Okay, okay, okay. Humans are going to space, and we have lots of big plans. From all those up-and-coming commercial space projects making the headlines, to NASA's bold new Artemis project, Moon Trip Part 2, as well as a trip to Mars. All part of the Moon to Mars initiative, our sights are set on the stars once again. But why even go to space in the first place? Is it worth the cost? And does it really matter to us back here on Earth. Let's start at the beginning. Why explore space? Here's one answer. Because. You see, humans are curious creatures, and our understanding of the universe has always come from asking that question, why? And then seeking the answer. The more we strive to know, the more we will know. This curiosity is the core of science and the driving force for innovation that improves our very lives. Another reason? We are citizens of space. Earth is our planetary home, and we're kids in the hood with the rest of our solar system. Exploring space grants us a cosmic perspective to understand and care for our home. For decades, satellites and space research data have revealed the workings of Earth's gravity, oceans, atmosphere, geology, and much, much more. It is because of these findings that we are better able to understand and predict events like hurricanes, wildfires, drought, and volcanic eruptions. Studying the phenomena and physical attributes of other planets in our solar system gives us a new context for understanding Earth's history and our future. And let's not forget NASA's planetary defense research. While we go about our daily lives, they keep eyes in the sky 24 seven, watching for potential asteroids and common impacts with our dear planet. Thanks, NASA. Now here's a common question. Why spend tons and tons of money going to outer space when we have so many problems to solve right here on Earth? A fair question, so here's a fair answer. It's not as much as you think. Surveys show that the public often assumes NASA hogs up to 25% of the US federal budget, but for the last decade, it has actually represented half of 1%. Everyone's entitled to their opinion about government spending, and we are talking billions of dollars here, but picking on space exploration for being the big spender just doesn't make sense. Plus, recent economic impact reports show that this relatively low investment fuels the economy, supporting more than 300,000 jobs nationwide and over $60 billion of total economic output. Space drives private business and industry, sparks advances in technology, and strengthens important relationships in the international community. In short, the investment pays off. So a few billion dollars in for tens of billion dollars out, that's a great ROI. But money aside, here's a real important thing that we often forget. We're not ignoring solutions on Earth when we set our sights on space. In fact, we're actively advancing those solutions with every launch. The history of space exploration has always driven innovation that spills into everyday life right here on Earth. You may think that the best thing to come from space exploration is free dried ice cream, but there's so, so much more. We can point to over 2,000 products that came directly from NASA technology or expertise. Digital image sensors in your phone, air filtration, vertical farming, memory foam, laser surgery technology, infrared thermometer, radial tires, dust bus, baby food, water purification, swimsuit, LED, robotic dynamic, semi fire research and fabrics, rescue technology, wireless sensors, virtual reality, and so much more. And don't forget satellites and GPS. What would we do without GPS on our phones? Satellites are doing so much more than just loading a map on your phone though. Weather forecasting, communication, transportation, travel, even banking and finance are all dependent on satellites. And that pair of shoes you ordered the other day, how you track them as they make their way to your door? Yep, yep, satellites. In addition to all this technology, scientific research in orbit provides knowledge and insights that improve our lives. Research in the microgravity of space lets scientists observe biological and physical phenomena differently allowing for totally different experiments and takeaways. Need an example? 
Research conducted on the International Space Station directly led to advances in a process called microencapsulation in anti-cancer drugs. This helps drugs target tumors and helps patients avoid the nasty impacts of other treatments like chemotherapy. Still think space exploration doesn't hit close to home? Imagine for a moment that you wake up one day and all the technology and knowledge that we have gained from decades of space research have suddenly disappeared. Truly, every aspect of your daily life would be affected. How you communicate, get around town, work, shop, eat, study, and even sleep would all be compromised. Simply put, there is no down here without up there. If you like this video, remember to like, subscribe, and comment below.